bleeding for 12 years, the Bible says. She has been bleeding for 12 years. And the Bible says she's gone to every doctor available, I'm sure all throughout Jerusalem and uh, Judea and Samaria. Maybe she even went down to Egypt to the great hospital at Alexandria in Egypt. The Bible says she had gone to all these places and she had spent all the money that she had. And then the Bible said, instead of getting better, she got worse. There was a man named Jesus. He came walking into her village on that particular day. And she heard that Jesus was coming. And she said, Jesus can heal me. Jesus can heal me. And there was a great massive crowd around him. I don't know, 500, 1,000, 2,000, I don't know. The one day he has 10,000 people on the hillside listening to him preach. I don't know how many were there, but I do know a great crowd. And she realized as weak as she was because of this illness, maybe she weighed 70 pounds or 80 pounds, she knew that she could not speak to him. She was just hoping that she wouldn't get crushed when she went into the crowd. And maybe her friend said, are you out of your mind? You're going to get trampled in the crowd. You're so tiny and the crowd is so big. But she would not be thwarted. And she goes into that crowd and, and like a little snake, she goes through all these people and she's right next to Jesus and she reaches out her hand and she touches his robe. She had already told herself, if I touch his robe, I will be healed. And she is healed. She is healed. And the Bible says Jesus knew power had gone out from him. And he turned and said, who's touched me? And his disciples said, are you out of your mind, Jesus? You got 500 people right around you. There's hundreds of people touching you. How can you ask a question like that? That's really ignorant. And the Bible says Jesus ignored them, and he said again, Who touched me? And the woman came forward, and she fell at his knees. And I'm sure in a voice verily, verily, verily audible, she said to Jesus, I touched you. I believed you could heal me. And Jesus made an interesting comment to her. He said to her, Your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. What did he mean by that? He meant you're completely healed. Not just the physical aspect of the illness, but the mental and emotional aspect of our illnesses. Here is a man who's had cancer. He's in remission. Every morning he wakes up, and if his body aches or if he's got a little bump, he wonders if the cancer's come back. It's called post-traumatic stress syndrome. Talking about a woman who's been sick for 12 years. She spent all the money she had. She's bankrupt. And even though she's healed physically, for most people, it would be years of thinking, I've got no money left. Why did this illness come to me? Is it going to come back? When Jesus said, your faith has made you whole, he meant you're completely healed. You're not going to lie awake at night wondering why this happened to you. You're not going to spend your daylight hours wondering, next time I sit down, am I going to get up and there's going to be blood on the stool there? You're completely whole. No fears, no worries, no wonderings, no anger over this circumstance. You're completely healed. Do you have a faith like that? Do you ask God to help you with something, to heal something, to open some door, and then you have all these doubts when He's done it? Do you have a faith like that where you wake up and say, this is the day that God has made, and you totally believe physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually that God has you all wrapped up in His arms? Get rid of your nightmares, get rid of your shadows, get rid of your fears, get rid of your angers. That's what happens when Jesus' presence comes. And he will say to you and he'll say to me, your faith has made you whole. The shadows are gone, the nightmares are gone, the worries are gone. Live this day in total peace. 
because God has entered this circumstance. May you have that peace in our Lord's name. Amen. Thank you.